So every year at Cybos, the event likes to partner up with a charity foundation in order to saddle up to piggyback on the global international scale of proceedings to try and do some good and highlight something more important. And I am delighted to say that this year is no different. Cybos is partnering up with the Sick Kids Foundation and I'm here with Martin Lloyd, Manager of Community Partnerships at the Sick Kids Foundation. Martin, talk us through the work that Sick Kids Foundation does, who you guys are and you know the impact you guys have had over here in Toronto. Uh, so Sick Kids, uh, our vision is clear, it's healthier children, a better world. And so we are one of uh, Canada's most research intensive hospitals. We're a leader in pediatric health care and the work that we do goes beyond the four walls of the hospital and the research institute. We work across Ontario, across Canada. We work globally to achieve our mission and our goal to help all children because where you live shouldn't determine if you live uh, and it's a huge focus for us uh, in the work that we do uh, as a foundation and as a hospital. I actually uh, I saw a, a big bit of Sick Kids branding from the hotel we're staying at here in Toronto. So clearly you've been doing some great work here for some time. Uh, but talk us through how you guys operate perhaps in, in relation to the hospital here. Yeah, so Sick Kids Foundation, we're the fundraising arm for the hospital. So again, we work with the community and partnering and finding out the priority needs that the hospital uh, has and the, the philanthropic dollars they need to achieve their vision for the future. And so it's, again, developing partnerships, working with events to, to raise the money that we need to, again, support centres like the, the Gary Herbert Centre for Brain and Mental Health. It's important to the foundation to... to work with the hospital and help these patients and, and children as young as 23 weeks old to 18 years in uh, having them thrive into adulthood. Uh, talk us through, uh, you've, you've given us an idea there of the, the age range, but one of the most important things when you're highlighting the fantastic work that charity foundations do is, is giving people an idea of the face-to-face, -face, the, the kind of the patient population, the lives that you're actually trying to change and improve. So shed some light on, on that for us if you can. Yeah, so at SickKids, uh, we treat patients, again, from across the globe. Um, a lot of the times, it's most complex cases. When a child comes into SickKids, they might come in with one thing, but at the end of the day, we're looking at from a holis holistic perspective on what they might be going through when they enter the hospital, and oftentimes it is more than just one thing. And so uh, we, we have a family-centered approach to care at sick kids, so we try and look at not only the patient, but the family that's coming alongside them, their siblings, the parents that are with them, and, and uh, try and look from a family-centered approach to how we can care for them, uh, offer treatment, and create an experience that they won't leave um, feeling worse than they came in. So. You touched on uh, the importance of mental health. It's something that we, we seem to be learning more and more about year on year uh, and how that can affect people, the, the many different aspects and sort of iterations uh, of that. Uh, can you talk us through a little bit about how you guys try and aid people in that field uh, and especially young people in such a, an important time of their life? Yeah, so we've learned that 70% of mental health conditions um, start in adolescence and childhood. And so for us, that's huge as a pediatric healthcare institute. It's important to look at that and, and determine how can we improve access to care for these patients, improve treatment options, and, and develop um, discoveries and, and help uh, determine the mysteries of the brain and, and really help these patients thrive into adulthood and so not only from a clinical standpoint of accessing care but it's how do we create an experience at the hospital so when they're there and understanding it's a very uh, trying time for them and their family how can we offer support so whether it be therapeutic clowns there that are helping the kids understand what they're going through whether it be play areas reading spaces and and again offering a space that the children can understand what they're going through from a clinical standpoint but also um, have some respite and, and enjoy um, as much as possible during these times and so mental health is a huge focus for us as we look to the future um, especially coming out of these past few years it's, it's understanding how can we improve the, the level of care that we offer for our patients at in Toronto at sick kids but also across the globe so uh, and speaking in a, in a kind of a practical sense how you do that uh, talk us through the role of the Gary Hurwitz Center of Brain uh, and Mental Health is that here in Toronto yeah so it is it's um, a center that again we're building partnerships to build capacity across um, the country but also in Toronto to to make sure that kids do have access to the care they need and we are developing research and trying to bring that research to the bedside to understand what uh, these kids are experiencing and hopefully um, again make sure that they leave better off than they came and, and uh, the centre is a place where 
they can meet other children as well and, and develop bonds with the, the staff in the hospital and, and um, again, hopefully lead healthy lives into adulthood. Now, I mentioned it in the introduction here, the importance of philanthropic support in foundations such as this. If we want to back up and see a wider shot of the stand that we've got here at Cybos, uh, are we on the floor, are we floor five or 600? 600. 600. <laughs> floor 600, do come and check it out. Um, of course, one of the important things for you whilst we're here is to try and get footfall, to try and get people interacting and having conversations and learning about what you guys do. Uh, just talk us through for the people watching uh, watching at home or in the conference by the computer wherever you're watching um, the importance of that uh, philanthropic support and how people can actually get involved mm -hmm. I think philanthropy in the community is truly what sets sick kids apart uh, from the rest it's it's the cornerstone of what we do It's the heart of who we are is the community and philanthropy so the support that we're given whether it's five dollars you leave with a cookie a branded cookie or you're becoming a monthly donor or you're partnering for, with us for years to come um, it's truly helping us not only do what we or work with the hospital and what we need to do, but also establish what we can do with philanthropic dollars. And so, um, it's hugely important when we develop these relationships with the community. We want to meet all of you. We hope you come by and to learn more about the work that we do, and uh, hopefully have a lasting partnership and, and friend in you uh, and the philanthropy that you help us uh, achieve. You've heard it for first, uh, guys. Do not be a stranger to the stand here on Floor 600. And finally, you've just closed the, uh, the historic Sick Kids versus Limits campaign. What's next for you guys? What's next for us is we have, yes, as you mentioned, we've uh, closed the historic uh, campaign, which was the building of a new Sick Kids. And so we're in the process of building the new Sick Kids. And it's been uh, an incredible endeavor to, and philanthropic endeavor that we've embarked on. But now is a time to focus on precision child health. And what we mean by that is that trying to establish practices and work that is not a one size fits all approach, but helping understand the individual characteristics of every patient and help them again, thrive in their own wakes. Every patient's different. And of course, when we talk about mental health, that's the case as well. Every child has different needs and we want to attend to those needs and again, help them thrive into adulthood and support them in that. And so Precision Child Health is our focus as we move forward. And we uh, are looking forward to bringing the community along with us. Well, at Cybos, we are delighted to have been brought along on your journey in 2023. Martin, thank you so much for your hospitality. Thank you so much for being here. Congratulations on all the hard work that you guys have done in the future. And as I said, guys, if you're enjoying your Cybos and you're here till Thursday, please do come check this out on floor 600. Martin's here to explain every which way you can get involved and your help is very much appreciated.